What's up guys, Maddox here and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be talking about Watch Dogs, uh, a really awesome game in my opinion. And uh, before we just hop into what I think of the game, first of all I do want to say I haven't played that much and that is uh, largely down to my playthrough and because, you know, I gotta record all the time when I play the game and commentate at the same time and I'm kind of awkward about my YouTube and my parents and stuff. So I kind of keep it to myself and when my parents are home and just walking around and you know, doing whatever, cleaning and shit, and it's a lot of noise, I don't want to play the game, so I haven't made it that far into the game so far, so my opinion on the game is based on the start of the game so far, and you know, what I've gotten to do in Watch Dogs so far. Um, also, I just wanted to talk about my playthrough, because except for the fact that I, I don't really want to record when my parents are home and so on, um, it seems that you guys don't enjoy my playthrough that much. I mean, it's getting like around 15 to 20 views on average and 3 to 4 likes, which I mean, my channel is not huge, so that's what I can expect. But for a Watch Dogs playthrough, one of the most anticipated games of the year, I was expecting a lot more. And when you look at my Tommy Gun video on Watch Dogs, it got like 220 views in a very short time actually, so I'm thinking. Maybe I should just switch over from the playthrough to playing the game and enjoying the game and then making videos about, say, the guns and the cars, comparing them and so on, because they seem to do a lot better, a lot well, I was about to say, a lot better those, uh, those videos. So let me know in the comments what you think about that idea. I think it's probably better for my channel as well as better for me since I can just play the game as fast as I want. Actually, Danny B Gaming, one of the guys I collaborate with. He's already completed it, and now I'm sitting here like, yo, nine missions. Um, so please let me know what you think of that idea in the comments below. I need you guys' feedback uh, because I want to make content that you guys enjoy. It's really important to me. So the game itself, it's it's a great game, as I said in the beginning. But one thing I really do not like about it is the car physics. Uh, the gameplay you're seeing right now is a fixed contract where I have to. The first one was like a checkpoint race something. Uh, and I completed that fairly easily, but as I go to the other one and actually arrive at it, I drive over like a sidewalk and the car completely flips and it makes no sense because the cars they feel really heavy to drive, like they're really, they don't turn very well and when you turn very sharply they'll just suddenly spin out and it really, they don't feel good to drive at all and then you hit like a bump or something and they'll just go flying and then they're really light, it just doesn't make sense. I don't like any of that, the driving physics are awful, the cars look awesome, I gotta say that, but the driving physics are really awful. But. On a much more positive note, the gameplay is very smooth, otherwise uh, the, the guns and the, the way you can just mark people, the hacking, everything, it's it's very easy to figure out, but at the same time you gotta use your brain a little bit when, the, when it comes to the hacking. Um, and the guns and the gunfights, it, it feels really nice, there's not that much auto aim like in GTA and the guns kick a lot more, it makes it feel more realistic. And also the story itself, it seems a lot deeper than say GTA story. I don't know, that's maybe because I didn't play that much of GTA story. I played more way more online than I played story mode in GTA because I got the game late and it was just all about having fun with my friends, you know? But when it comes to Watch Dogs, I feel the story is very good. You have like a lot of intel from the beginning. And you know, I can kind of connect to Aiden Pierce, I can uh, I can see his motives. Uh, not that I can really follow his uh, his decision making sometimes where he like for example his sister will say don't do this because you'll just uh, hurt us even more and then he goes and does it. I can't really follow his thought process sometimes but I can still see why he does it and that's something I really enjoy about the game. The story is amazing and uh, that's just about what I could uh, say about Watch Dogs so far. I wanted to get this out of the way because first of all it's a really awesome game, but also I cannot play it that fast because of my playthrough. So I wanted some feedback from you guys, please do leave me it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out guys.